What's up, guys? What's inside a uh, GFCI outlet? Today, let's find out. All right, let me get my tools. I fix it, Manta Toolkit. PH0 means Phillips head zero. Let's find out what's in here. I just recently replaced it. That's a little context on this. Uh, there's a new one I installed because these aren't working. Tried hitting the test button, the reset button. None of them work, so I just said, all right, let me replace it. Didn't make a video on that, but it's very easy as I just made one couple months ago, not even a couple months, uh, a few weeks ago, I'd say. All right, so it looks like I'll need to be cutting that tape. Oh, this comes off first. This is the faceplate. Very dirty. Here is the GFCI outlet interior. Uh, I'm gonna unscrew those with my uh, other screwdriver. Only so I can, I guess, take apart the rest of it. That's loose. That is loose as well. Just loosen that up from for the heck of it, um, this one too. All right, now the back should come off. It has something to do with that sticker on the back. Okay, now it comes off. And there's a little circuit board in there. Well, now I'm not an electrician. I don't know how this works. <laughs> but I, I did learn how to install it on YouTube. The great platform we have right here that you're watching this on. It's like one needs to be removed before the next can. Let me grab a pair of pliers. Pair of pliers. Although it looks like it's connected with that. Don't even hang on. Now I need a wire cutter. Cut that, this should, yep, it comes out now. There is a small, is that a resistor, you tell me? Come on, focus. It looks like one. And yes, now it comes out. I'm trying to dismantle it without breaking too many things. cut there. I feel
feel it. It's gonna like spring out or something. It is spring loaded. This comes off the grounding part. This is what grounds it. As you can see, there's the grounding pin. I guess that is what you push down, or is what is pushed down when it's grounded. No, for the GFCI thing. Don't know how to get the rest of it out. There is a small spider web or something in there. But this was, after all, outside. It's a little plunger there. Interesting. What's that? Oh, something just fell out. And the other side. That's how it's held together, those two pins. Here's that weird plunger thing. It's not, well, it's probably not weird to some people. But... Okay, so it's like a magnetic coil or something. All right, so uh, I don't know how to explain this with words because I don't know much about this. Here is the board itself. That's probably what regulates the, the power or something, or when it trips. All right, let me lay it out for you guys to see. housing, which is empty now. I'm amazed how they um, put all of that into such a small package. So you have the ground, grounding, some screws, well these are for clamping the wires down terminal mm, there's some springs on the back of the reset switch not sure why it's broken well it was it didn't work and here's the face plate Still with the um, test button on it. All right, so there's all the parts. Here, I'll show you a better view of it. Right, forgot one thing. That. So there's <laughs> what's inside a GFCI outlet. Uh, thanks for watching. It's kind of a long video, just taking apart this little thing. And uh, I'll see you next time. Subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content, tech related and stuff, take stuff apart, unboxing and all that. And if you like the video, drop a like. So once again, uh, see you next time. <laughs>